I bought an 80 year old lady's entire collection of craft supplies and we're opening bin number 17. I'm excited to see what's in this one. It looks like there is some Christmas stuff, but there is one bin at the very bottom that says acrylic. I'm not sure if it's paint, but I'm really curious to see what's in there. Um, we have some little Christmas laurels. Oh, these are pretty. I love the sparkly ones. These are great for wreath making or making floral bouquets or any sort of decor, really. I used to use a lot of this kind of stuff to make mermaid hair clips. So anything that kind of looked like it could be, you know, mystical or underwater, I would attach these with different beads and broken jewelry and make like little threats and alligator clips and even crowns at one point. It was a lot of fun. Um, we have a string of Christmas lights. There is also ooh, some really nice green ones as well. I think this whole hot bin is this artificial florals, artificial leaves. We do have a whole section of this in our shop and honestly we sell them really cheap. We sell them for like a quarter a piece. Uh, some of the sparkly ones might be worth a little bit more, but look, look how cute that is. I love the purple. There's a few of those in here. And <laughs> some cute little apples. I like those. Ooh, wait, hold on. There's some pretty ones. Here's some pink leaves. I love those. Okay, this whole bin here is just more florals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, I see some really fun stuff in here. Oops. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's a lot of fun stuff in here. So lots more Christmas stuff. There are some Christmas ornaments with paint. Looks like you can paint those. We also have some cute little trees. I was talking about these trees in another video. We usually have like a whole bin of these around Christmas time and people love them. I mean, you could use them for mini Christmas villages, decoration around candles. You could even stick those on wreaths. Uh, lots of stuff you can do with those. And this, ooh, this is another popular one as well. These are just like little wood slices. You can paint these, put names on them, use them for, or for ornaments or other decoration as well. And <laughs> For Florida, um, you know, we gotta have our palm tree Christmas. <laughs> we have to have our little tropical Christmas. That's cute. Ooh, this is an LED wood lantern. It says it lights up. I don't know if it still works. Might need batteries, but that is super cute. There's also a ton of Christmas snowflakes as well. Little wooden snowflakes. This one also has a light. Oh, that one actually works. It's kind of hard to see because it's so well lit in here already, but there you go. Cute little Christmas light. I'm not super into Christmas myself, but it's really nice seeing all the different stuff. Here's some more light up boxes. And oh my gosh, is that a kitty reindeer? <laughs> that is super adorable. Ooh, okay, this is color your own ornaments. Those look like eggs. I guess they're just ovals, but that would work for Easter as well. And some more mini trees. Gotta love the mini trees. Let's get a few of these out so we can take a better look. There are some cute little beige ones and some pretty frosted green ones. A ton of trees in this bag. This is this is great. This is a great find for us. Uh, we've also got some doilies. So I've used doilies before in journaling. And even like making greeting cards, but really I like to use them to collage um, in different like art journals and vintage journals. But if you guys have a better use for doilies, let me know. We have a little light up reindeer here. <laughs> she definitely loved her Christmas, I'll tell you that. And a little box, that's nice. This is nice to paint or glue stuff on. We also have a cute little, oh, is that a yo-yo? <laughs> it's a yo-yo. It's a little kitten on a yo-yo that you can color in with markers. So there is a ton more wood in here. We've got some Christmas trees and Christmas stockings. These cute little chicks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> little baby chicks. Those are adorable. Ooh, I like the white snowflakes. And this one has a bunch of different random letters. Little wooden letters, sort of. She even put like L through Z so you know exactly what's in here. A little sparkly bit. Okay, this is a treat box. It's got trees and snowflakes. So there's two, two different ones that come in that set. A little bit hard to see because of the reflection. 
We have a light up snowman. <laughs> Ooh, that's cute. It's a wreath that you could paint or color in or even use markers probably. I like that. And it says believe. <laughs> I love the gingerbread men. I'm not like super into Christmas, but I think gingerbread men are adorable. There's a little light up Santa. Ooh, some more of these like wood ornaments, wood slices. And I have a little birdhouse with a palm tree. That's a cute one. And this one seems to have more ornaments. <laughs> There's a cute bell, some acorns. We had acorns in another bin. Those are really fun. Some little gold beading. Um, <laughs> I just saw something staring back at me in my camera. Bob, Bob, are you hiding with ornaments? There's Bob here to say hello. <laughs> There's another one of the ornaments and some cute little Christmas wreaths. Those are so adorable. They're so tiny. Ooh, I love stars. This doesn't even have to be used for Christmas. There is a whole bag of really cute little cardboard glitter stars. And these little metallic ones have um, double stick foam tape on the back. So you can use those for, I mean, really anything. I would stick those on cards. That would be super cute some more trees. We got a Santa with a, <laughs> a nice sparkly beard. Some little gingerbread foamies. Oh, I love the houses. Those are really fun. That's super, super cute. Cute little wooden house. And these are nice. So this, this is probably, you know, meant to be for Christmas, but something like this, this type of chipboard, you can be, use it for anything. I also do some like 3D mixed media canvases, which I haven't done in a while, but this would be really nice for something like that. Just a really pretty ornate design. And then all of these cute snowflakes. Um, aw, baby's first Christmas 2022. It's a little, a little sock monkey. And, oh, we have some of these trees in another bin too. These are really cute. These ones were painted white. All right, and then this, wait, wait, wait. Oh, more wood slices going to see what's in here. Is this just an empty bag? That's just an empty bag. <laughs> but this is what I was seeing from the outside. It says acrylic blue and green. I wasn't sure if it was like acrylic pieces, but it looks like it is paint. Let's get, let's get this bin upside down here so I can get a better look at the paint. All right, let me stand up so we can just kind of see what's in here so we have some green from deco art um nice little olivey color really pretty baby blue this is all blue and green just like the label says so i bet we're gonna find a ton more paint um they sound like they're still good i know some people were concerned that like maybe some of this stuff is um older and dried out but th these are definitely still usable some of them are brand new and we sell a ton of paint in our shop. We always, always need more. So this is a really good find, which by the way, I'm gonna like kind of <laughs> squat down here so you can see me a bit better. Uh, if you're new here, I recently bought an 80 year old lady's entire collection of craft supplies, just like I said in the beginning. And my name is Stephanie. I actually own a secondhand art and craft supply shop. So everything is traded in from our customers. It's a great way to like reuse what's already in our community and help keep art prices low and accessible for all. And we made a one-time exception by purchasing this lady's collection because there was just so much stuff. As you can see, this is enough to fill an entire store on its own. And I really, really couldn't pass up the opportunity. I've just been having so much fun unbinning all of this, seeing what is in here, deciding what's going to go in the shop and what I'm going to keep to make videos and stuff to sell in the store and possibly use some for our classes. So it's a nice little sorting process here. It's going to be a little bit before some of this stuff hits the sales floor, just depending on what it is, like paint we could use. So these might hit a little bit more quickly. So if you are local, you can check our Facebook page to see photos of all the new stuff as it hits the sales floor. And if you're not local, you can check our eBay. There we put um, some more vintage items, definitely some stuff that's been in our store a little bit longer and things in general that we just think will do better than in our shop. You can find all the information on our website, bottomofthebin.com. The eBay store is linked there, including the YouTube. If you're watching on another platform, um, the YouTube is the longer video. So if you want the full 
version, which is usually between 10 and 20 minutes long, you can check us out over there and come say hello. Make sure to follow or subscribe so you don't miss the next unbinning.